Hello everybody, this is me, my unboxing fan here today. Today I'm going to have an unboxing of the Nokia 3 Android smartphone. Now, I'm just going to, before I unbox this video, I'm just going to say, I hope you guys like my new lighting. Basically, I got a new softbox and I hope you like the lighting, you know, and hopefully the lighting is evenly distributed and not focused at a single point. So, I hope you like the lighting, guys. If you don't like it, put a comment down below and I'll see what I can do to improve it. So yeah, so before I unbox this phone, I'm going to read out some key specifications. It has a 5 inch HD display, it has an 8 megapixels camera, rear facing camera, and it has a 16 gigabyte internal storage. And you can pick this phone up in white, in blue, in black, and also in copper gold or copper, as some people say. And that is a limited edition colour, which I've got my hands on today, which I'll be unboxing. So I hope you enjoy this unboxing, guys. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So as you can see, the back you can see it says Nokia 3 with a little um, Android person there it by the way is running the latest Android operating system which is Android 7.0 Nougat not Oreo yet um, and it has a two highs joining like din, 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 din. remember that remember that on the old Nokia handset anyway um, at the back of the phone you can clearly see some key specifications which you can see so it says that it has an aluminium um, maintained fr machine framed frame. It has a 5 inch HD polarized display, which I'll be talking about in a minute. It has an 8 megapixel autofocus camera. It has a 4G LTE, so you can use it in 4G network. Quarter processor and also 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB storage. So it's basically, it's basically a very smart, smart, but very fast smartphone. Okay, so let's just open the box and see what we get inside of the box. Hopefully, the phone will not tip, and it did tip. So, um, this is the phone. Okay, very very nice. I just I just accidentally not accident. Okay, so this is the phone, as you can see. So it's a very very nice uh, phone, as you can see. This is the front of the phone. So you can see what we have here. Some key key things here. So we have the Nokia logo. We have the uh, we put ear, ear here. We have the earpiece. Um, this is the front facing camera, and this is the sensor. At the bottom, we have our micro HDMI port where we put the charger into charge. Uh, on the sides, we have our SIM tray and the. Um, and it's not focusing. The SIM tray and the micro SD tray, and then we have the volume rocker. And that says no physical buttons on the actual front of the phone, everything's just touched, which I pretty like, which I like very much about this handset. And then on the rear of the phone, we have this white finish where we have the 8 megapixel camera, rear facing camera and flash and we have the Nokia logo there. Okay, so pretty very nice at the, mo at the moment guys. I I'm liking everything at the moment. Uh, this just pops up like this and we'll see what's inside the box. So we have this thing here which is the Sim Adjetta tool similar to Apple. We have the quick start guide. I keep saying that, it's not quick start guide, it's basically a get started sort of guide. Okay, so this is where it is. Uh, you can basically see where you put everything in and I think in the 21st century, people don't need this, but some elderly people might do, so yeah. Um, and we have here some of this, um, some things here which I'll be showing you. So we have your earphones, okay, so this is not an in-ear earphone, I'm very disappointed about this guys. Nokia could have made an improvement and put some in-ear earphones in there, but they still stuck with a kind of 2005 old earphones which, which I really hate and I'll probably throw those, throw those away. This is the um, the micro USB adapter, and the charger should be in there. The adapter, not the adapter, sorry, the cable. And this is the uh, adapter. And I threw that away. Okay, so uh, as you can see there, so you can see it says Nokia, and then this just slides right up. If you're in the UK and I and whatever, yeah. So you can see that. So um, I'm just gonna talk a bit more now about the polarized display. But before I do that, let me just rip this a bit open and just show you what's basically behind this part here okay so that's a pretty much kind of a rip sort of thing okay okay so I'm just gonna wow I don't think there's an, a, 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 a worse way to open a phone like that I mean not this is a very unsatisfying way to open a phone but okay so at the back I was actually wrong it has like a a matte finish at the back, which is a bit weird, it doesn't feel right, but that's fine. Uh, I could get used to that. I'm not really fussed about finishes. Um, it could have had the IMEI number at the bottom of the phone, like most iPhones do, but it chose not to. Which, again, it could have had the IMEI number at the bottom of the phone, like most like an iPhone does, but I'm not fussed if it doesn't. 
Um, but yeah, overall, I think that the overall I think the build of the phone is pretty nice. I mean, the copper it feels very like sturdy in your hand. So yeah, anyway, let me just turn it on now and see if there's a, oh, okay. Okay, feel like a vibration. So okay, wow, you can see that crystal clear. It says powered by Android. Very very nice, as you can see, guys. I like the way it says that. Very in a very clear way. It's a polarized display, which means that even the light light hits even the outside in the sunlight and it hits the screen, you're still able to see. Um, you still be able to see the text and stuff in there, and I'll be showing you that. I'll be testing that in a minute, and just to see if everything is actually right. Okay, so you can see. Actually, let me just get my light. You can see that. Can you see my light there? You can still see the text. That's how pretty amazing it is. So, it took quite a while to load up, but I pretty like that. Let me just show you something. Okay, I can't show you now. But yeah, so it's taking a load a while to load up. Once it loads up, I'll get back to this. So guys, I finally went through like 20 minutes of startup and then software updates and stuff. So I've done all of that. As you can see guys, the phone looks very, very nice and very premium in height. It has a rear facing 8 megapixel camera and as well as a front facing 8 megapixel camera. I'm just going to show you how the camera looks like. So you can see that already. It's very nice. You can see that. There's me. Yeah, you can see that camera quality. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, I'm going to put more, obviously, the camera quality and stuff in the review. But uh, I'm just, I just want to show you that. I'm just going to show you the rear facing. I don't know what that was. Okay, but this is the rear facing camera now. Okay, so you can see how that does pretty much uh, well. Okay, very nice indeed. You can see. Okay. Um... Again, it has that nice polarized display, which I explained. And the display, what I can think about this phone is that the best feature of this phone is probably the display itself. I think that the display is very nice, it's crystal clean. And, you know, it just, you know, it just is very fluid. I don't know if that's going to be a long term thing though, or a short term thing. But I'll let you know about that, guys. I will be making a review of this phone, so don't forget to stay tuned to that. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, um, of the Nokia 3 unboxing and style of setup. Set and if you want to, guys, please leave a comment down below and rate this video and tell me what I can improve to make this video better. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the Nokia 3 device. Have a nice day, guys, and goodbye. And don't forget to check out the review, which will be coming up tomorrow or the day after, or probably today itself. Bye!